Hey guys, it's Mr. Crayfish and welcome back. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys a working laptop. Yes, a working laptop. This is amazing. Um, it's actually a mod that I've been working on for the past year, I think. And if you follow me on Twitter at Mr. Crayfish, you would know that I promised you guys that I'd be releasing it on Christmas Day. Now, it is a couple of days after it. Uh, the reason why it didn't come out on Christmas Day is because I was actually busy. I had a lot of family stuff to do. Uh, my dad's side of the family is German, so we celebrate on the 24th. And it's just been pretty hectic. So in this video today, I'm going to be showing you guys the laptop. And then you can also download it in the description below. Now... I love the support you guys have been giving me on these videos, so make sure you go ahead and snap that like button. If you want to keep up with all my latest videos, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. I suggest you press that post notification button so you don't miss out on any future uploads. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into this now. So let's go ahead and let's head up to my office in the mansion here. Oh, what the? Creeper, what are you doing? Get out of here. <laughs> I don't know what that's doing, but here's my office guys. It's up on the second story. It's looking amazing But let's have a look at the main attraction of the video today And this here is the laptop now you can open and close it by shift and right clicking so that's closed That's now open Let's hop on our office chair here because you know we got to be comfy when we're using this laptop You know, I'm doing a lot of YouTube work. I'm doing a publishing a lot of videos now So good to have the uh, nice chair to sit on but if I go ahead and I right click this laptop without crouching, it's actually going to open up the interface. So here is the interface for the laptop. Now just a quick disclaimer, this mod isn't finished. As you can see at the top left here, it says alpha version 0.0.1 because it's highly, it's not finished yet. I promised you guys I would release a version to the public, but I didn't promise that it was going to be finished. So. Uh, please take that in mind because you'll see a lot of unfinished stuff such as the app store here It's not it doesn't look like anything at the moment But let's go ahead and let's take a look at the applications now So when you first get it, it comes with a bunch of applications already installed So here we have note stash the next one is just an example of all the your user interface components If you're a developer, you can actually develop apps for this and add it into the mod which is absolutely amazing I'll put a card up on the screen right now if you guys are interested in how to develop your first application uh, we got pixel painter here we'll get into that in a second ender mail and then also boat races which are uh, is actually unfinished but let's have a quick look at note stash here so this just allows you to store notes in your computer so if you press new here we can give it a title such as to do um, get more cheese that is a pretty good to do let's save that and then as you can see it's in a list here we click on that press view and then as you can see to do get more cheese now the cool thing is you can actually close this off we can actually go do our stuff blah 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 come back hop back on the laptop here if we open up no stash again it's still there how cool is that uh, next one oh, we've already seen that is UI components now this one here is Pixel Painter and it's honestly one of my favorite applications on the computer. Now I didn't mention just before, you can actually move the window around to wherever you want. So you can actually multitask here. So we can bring Note Stash up here as well, put that over to the side. We can go back to Pixel Painter. That will actually get drawn over the top. If we do that, it goes over the top um, as you would expect. We'll go new here, put in a name. So it's gonna be Masterpiece by myself. Fished. and then we go 16 by 16 let's go ahead uh, and let's just draw something here I don't know give it some eyes and a mouth <laughs> and um, I don't know we could color it we could fill it in with a yellow here is that gonna work yep and then a green here Wow that is um some pretty amazing art right there once you're done, go ahead and press the save button here. Now there is a little grid button there just in case you need a bit of help when uh, placing your pixels. But let's go ahead and press the save button here. And as you can see it's saved and you can go ahead load that up. Uh, we're just going to cancel there, go back. Go back to here. If you were to open up normally you can just press load and then load that back up to get to that screen. But that's Pixel Painter. 
Next up here we have Endermail, so let's go ahead and let's register. So each person has to register their own account and you can select a username. Mine's just going to be Mr. Crayfish. Register. So now I have actually got an inbox. So we have a couple of buttons here. This one's for viewing the mail. That's for composing a new email, a reply button, a trash button, and then also a refresh just in case someone sends you mail. You can press that and it will refresh your inbox and will check for any new mail that you may have. Now because there's nobody else on the server, this is more designed for if you're on a multiplayer server, you can actually send an email to somebody by here. So you put in the email, the subject and the message. Let's go ahead and let's close that off and let's go to the next application here which is Boat Racers. And pretty much this is unfinished at the moment but allows you to create kind of like boat racing tracks so we can uh, select the material over here create a little path for it to go on. So if we go ahead and click player on here, we can use the arrows on our keyboard. Let's speed this up a little bit. Whoa, woo! And as you can see, my boat guy is racing around the track now. And as you can see, if I actually drive on land here, I get stuck. But if I go back into the water, you'll actually go your normal speed and then you can press shift to speed up. Woo! Then you got a bunch of decorations as well. This here is layers, but it's kind of... I've, I don't know why the layout is like that, but it just is. It's unfinished at the moment. Uh, you can change the background around here, which is pretty cool. And if you're really awesome at being able to edit uh, resource packs, you can actually change these around in a resource pack to whatever you like. But that is pretty much the laptop so far. Um, there is a couple of bugs in it, which I didn't actually show because I didn't really want to put them in the video, but you may discover them if you actually use the laptop, but they will be fixed in the future. Do not worry about that. So that is the laptop. Let's go ahead and close it down now so we can actually end off this video. So on that note, guys, that is going to end off this video today. If you want to go ahead and get this laptop, the link is in the description to download the mod. Now, it is only on 1.8.9 at the moment because that's when I actually started developing this mod. Two, three updates have come out since I actually started developing it, but it will be coming out for 1.11, 1.10 and so on very soon. And again, if you enjoyed, make sure you go ahead, snap that like button and subscribe if you want to see all my future videos. I suggest, again, press that post notification button so you don't miss out on any new uploads. And I will see you guys later. Bye!